up to now we have learned about the html css javascript these are all the things we have learned it let's open this notepad or something like that this notepad gone yeah so we have learned about the html css javascript so jquery also we have learned this is also one type of uh, framework only jquery is also one type of framework only we can say it as a library so jquery what it has did, uh, did is so it has made easy of our daily to daily tasks so whichever you want to do the dom manipulation and all those things so jquery has made it very easy but jquery what i can say is some uh what i can say is a decade something like a decade you can say that so 10 years up to the 10 years it has uh, ruled this all internet uh, web, web, web. okay website development it has ruled it so then afterwards the changes came slowly the changes came and all those things it has been came and uh, what i can say is so new new type of innovations and all those things introduced and that uh, this result to a new frameworks evolved so those are nothing but the frameworks which are is angular and we are having view and also the react so both are three are one and the same only so three stands on the main concept that is nothing but a component based concept so we'll try to see what is a component based so up to now what we have learned is different now we are learning about the component based approach so this does the component based approach so here angular means so it was developed by google okay so this was this funding and also the back um, backing everything is there by the google whereas compared to the view it is an individual developer so he, uh, this was developed by an individual developer who came out from the google and he has developed this one and react has the backing with the facebook so facebook so these are the three which are more common in the market so which are more most famous in the market so these are the three things out of these three so now we are learning about the Vue.js. So learning Vue.js and learning React and Angular are one and the same only. So the core concept and all those things in these three are one and the same only. But the cons but the main thing which will differ is the syntax. So the syntax concept and all those things it will differ. I will try to show you these all things. So Vue.js. So it is a, it's very simple to learn. So Vue.js, there is no there is no that much of complicated complex and all those things. But right now the version which we have got it and all those things Vue 3 has the composition API introduced in this one. So this composition API. So little bit of uh, new it will be having. So React based approach it will be. So right now we are learning about this Vue.js. It's a progressive JavaScript framework. <coughs> before learning this view why view so he has given some video i think so why we need to learn the view and all those things i am closing it this one it's gone yeah previously we are having the view 2 so view 2 is the uh, version which we are uh, trying to develop our projects and all the things are also in the view 2 only so recently the full version of the view 3 has also been released actually previously only one year back only it has been released but phase by phase phase by phase implementation has been done and right now we are having the view 3 as the official thing so view 3 version so view 2 and view 3 changes are there so new introduction is the composition api so view 2 and view 3 are one and the same only both has the same type of architecture only but small small syntax changes will be there so we'll try to learn so as you don't know about the basic thing also so you'll learn the view 3 only direct we are not learning about the view 2 but the core concepts and all those things all remains one and the same only so these are all the if you are able to see the documentation so this is all the documentation how you will be having this is the syntax what is the thing which we are trying uh, basic syntax they have given so you forget about this one so i will try to explain you these all things first whatever the uh, whatever the things we have learned up to now okay uh, we will try to develop from there onwards for example let's say that jquery how we have installed it so we have used the cd and js and we have did it like that right so in the same scenario we have do we can do the view js also anything we can do it for example let's go to the cd and js and i will try to use view directly open this view so here you'll be able to find this view and 
here there are so many things will be there so just i am trying to co copy this view dot global so global means everything you will be having now you, uh, let's go to the here and view 3 i will create a project view basics or something like this i am creating a folder and this one division should occur let's open this one i am creating a new file that is nothing but new file main.html or index.html anything let's create it yeah here i am adding html <coughs> will take some time is initializing it one second we will just now we open the editor right yeah so now we got the script file right so here i am editing hello world this is your html i am pasting the script file which i have copied it this is the cdn file or we have copied the jquery in the same in the same scenario i am copying this vjs also now let's open this one in the live server let's open this one in the live server wait, wait this one is not opening about it's taking some time i think Did I click on that one? Okay, now you are able to see it, right? Hello world, we are able to see it in the inspector window. So up to now, we didn't, we, we haven't done anything new. So here you'll be able to see that you are running development build up view. So here we are able to see. So you are running the development build up view. This production build and all those things you'll try to see at the end. So right now we have installed Vue.js so that is the reason it is able to console the text that so you are running a development build of Vue. So now in order to use this Vue.js let's go to the documentation. So here you, you are able to see so this is all the explanation so single file components API styles so these are all the features what are available in the Vue.js they are explaining so we will try to learn one by one first installation and all the things when it is completed. We'll try to learn about the component and this progressive framework so these are all the features which you are having let's try to see it one by one so first quick start we'll try to go to quick start so here if you try to see creating a view application so this is one process you'll try to see the process afterwards so this is the normal process which we'll be so from the cdn we are trying to do vue.js from the cdn so we can copy this one or otherwise i we can copy it from somewhere else so i can copy this one or I, anything else i can do like this also so this is also it's okay for you i took it from the cdnjs so here you see here they have told that we can also take it from the cdnjs they have told so different types of websites are there we can take it and now we have added it and now we need to use this one so now let's try to explore this code what will happen so for example let's go here and create a new file which we will be writing all the code right so this is the main.js so main.js means any name, any file name you can have any file name i have created a main.js now what we need to do is first we need to create an instance for the view.js create an instance means nothing but a new function like this we are creating right constructor function in the same way scenario we will be using this create an instance for creating an instance in the view.js so we have a method that is nothing but view so this one is view like this only will be having dot create app okay so create app in the previous Vue.js version, we used to have something like new view. So like this, we used to create an object like this. But in the Vue.js 3, we have a static function view dot view is the class name and create app is the static method which is available. We have already seen. So create app will create the instance automatically in build. So this create app will take some object. It will take an object. We'll try to discuss about this object one by one. Okay, it will create an object and you can save the instance in one variable constant app is equal to okay so that's it so we have created an app and here so we have created an app so that means nothing but we have created a view, view object so we got a view object 
and now some this object we need to attach to the html somewhere okay if you try to see this output let's try to do it script source sorry source is equal to main.js i am importing this one so view dot create app it will take it from the it, it it will take view dot create app this one it will be taken from the cdn js cdn js this file so this class and all those things is available in that one so if i try to see the output for this one see if you try to see the outputs so then also we are not able to get any error everything is working fine so now somehow what we need to do is so this view instance so we are having this view instance right so this view instance we need to bind it to the html somewhere to the main html from where to where it needs to work so we need to give a control to the application so from where to where i need to take it so here you can write in such a way that view id is equal to app okay so this is the place from whatever the content you are writing in between this one so this will be taken care uh, this this all whatever the content it is there in between this id so this all will be taken care by the vue.js so you can control it through the vue.js so these are all things but you cannot control this div hello world this one i will try to show you so now i have created a div id is equal to app and we need to tell that tell to the vue.js that so whatever the things you are having from between to this one so you can take it so here you can write something like app dot mount and we need to give the element selector so here we have used the id right so that is the reason i am using hash app if you use the class we need to use the dot something like that but most probably we need to use the hash app only so we have mounted this hash app and now if you try to see here so here component missing these all things we are able to see it so now here when you try to see here so we are able to get some warning that is nothing but a component so these all will create afterwards one by one so first step we have completed it so now we have mounted this one otherwise i have saved it about so so first step we have completed it now let's try to see what is that they are trying to say so now we have attached it to this one so here they are trying they are, they are trying to see they have created some object right this is all the object they have created it now we need to go through this object and we need to do it so how we can create it for example let's say that i am having a variable here so for example let's say that um, where message is equal to hello world okay i will try to show you so where message so for example let's say that i am having a message variable and i want to show it in somewhere in, inside this one so here i am having something like you id is equal to message so previously in old legacy version how you will try to do it i want to show it in this one message thing so what i can do here so we will do something like document dot get element by id of message dot inner html or content something like inner text or anything you can use it and dot message you will try to do it so this is the thing which we can do it so here if you try to see the output we are able to get this hello world so whatever the text you are trying to do it here we can able to show it okay so this is the common uh, normal version which you will try to do it but whereas in the vue.js if you want to bind the same variable inside this content here i want to bind it the data so what i can do is there is no need for us to give the id or anything there is no need for us so here i can go and i can remove these all the things okay so here i want to declare first one is the so these are the things right first i want to declare a message variable so here you can have a data so these are all nothing but a data variables variables right data this one will be a function so you can use the yes uh, arrow syntax thing or otherwise you can use it like this function like this and you need to return the object the variables you need to return it the first one is the message and here this this holds the value something like hello lila or something like this okay so this is thing and yes six syntax you can remove these all the things and you can use it like this okay so this one is the first one so now we have declared the variable in the vue.js how the format will be i am trying to tell you so we have declared a variable so that's it and now i need to bind it this variable inside the html so now what i can do it here is i can remove this one all and i can directly go to the html and here i can write so like this two curly braces open and close like this 
and the variable which we have used it here the message thing right the message thing directly i can use it here message that's it so now if you try to see the output see i'm able to see the same output here okay so the legacy old code how you have did it but here what we have did so now but but the same variable which i want to use it outside outside this div id is equal to app i want to use it same place here then this will not work we try to see here this will not work why because the vue.js instance does not have control to this div the vue.js instance has a control only to the div id is equal to app from here to inside this one only after afterwards also it will not have the control so that is the main thing you need to understand so here you will be the vue.js instance will take control up to up to here only div id is equal to app you can have whatever the content you want inside this one all will be taken care by the vue.js instance if you want to control it so outside this div id is equal to app you don't have any control now if you try to see here you will not have any control in between this one only it will be able to control it so this is the thing so normally what the people will try to do is this one will be a root app div id is equal to app and they will remove it whatever the code they are having inside this one they will try to add it inside this one only this is one thing okay so this is the basic introduction and the basic uh, thing how the vue.js uh, so syntax will be different from the uh, legacy javascript code i am trying to explain you so you will be having for declaring the variables we will be using the data which is a function and we are returning this one all okay so now what is the advantage of this data and using these all things instead of having this where and all the things means so we will go, while going on we'll try to understand it one by one so this is the basic introduction of this vue.js so what we have did so we just we have added this script file so just like the jquery how we have added just we have added it this one and we have used this main.js file and the main.js file we have did the same thing so we want to bind this variable message in the html so we have did in the javascript legacy version and also in the vue.js version we need to use this create app it will create an instance and this is all is an object which will be having the object that is a different thing we will be having so many uh, properties will be there we'll try to learn one by one first you understood about this uh, data property then after slowly we'll go on to the next property next property we'll try to see and what are the usage of these properties we'll try to understand it first we have learned about this data thing so where the variables we can declare it in the data and this is the app dot mount we need to tell that where the vue.js instance should work so we are telling it using the hash app so this is the basic introduction of this vue.js if you try to see here also they will try to explain you the same thing only here div id is equal to app they have used the message thing and they have used this data dot mount so instead of taking this in the variable and they have directly chained it this is these are another ways of doing this import maps and all those things so next we will try to learn about the module splitting of these modules and all those things so this is all about the basic introduction of this vue.js